We have team coverage this evening of today's service, starting with News 4 Tucson's John Overall. He is live outside the church with more on how the American hero is being honored. John. Well, Angelique, quite a day here at the North Phoenix Bapt uh, Baptist Church. Friends, family, and 1,000 members of the pub public all filled this church earlier this morning. Some of Senator John McCain's closest friends shared a few laughs, a few tears, and they also remembered the huge impact this hero had on his state and his country. With Senator John McCain's flag draped coffin sitting before him, Grant Wood, the senator's former chief of staff, talked about how it didn't take long for Senator McCain to adopt Arizona as his new home. John got to know this place, and he fell in love with Arizona. He loved the people, our diversity, our Native American community, our Hispanic culture, and he loved the place. Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald spoke about how two men who are so different became close friends. He celebrated differences. He embraced humanity, championed what was true and just, and saw people for who they were. Yes, ours was an unlikely friendship, but it's one that I will always cherish. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> and I love John McCain. I have had the uh, dubious honor over the years of giving some eulogies for fine women and men that I've admired. But, Lindsay, this one's hard. Joe Biden shared his thoughts on why America is taking the death of John McCain so hard. I think it's because they knew John believed so deeply and so passionately in the soul of America that he made it easier for them to have confidence and faith in America. Bless you, John McCain, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it was very interesting that today's service ended with the Frank Sinatra song, My Way. And there is no doubt at all that John McCain lived his life his way. He was a maverick, a true hero, and a public servant for most of his life. And I was really taken by Vice President Joe Biden and his speech. I mean, he spoke from the heart at times very quietly. And then he spoke with passion as he talked about his friendship with John McCain and also the service that he provided for this service. A lot of people were touched by this man. A lot of people will remember him forever. Priscilla Casper joins us now. What did you see today? Well, John, I have to tell you, you mentioned this, the song My Way, and I spoke with people, and they told me that when Frank Sinatra's song came on, there was not a dry eye in the room. But before the ceremony, the streets of Phoenix were lined with hundreds of people as Senator John McCain's body was being escorted right here to the church. And a lot of people I spoke with today tell me that Senator John McCain will always be number one in their hearts. He's always going to be here. People from all over the country came together this morning in Phoenix to attend a memorial service for Senator John McCain. It was a celebration of the life of John McCain. They played Frank Sinatra my way, and I mean, it was, it was hard. It was hard. I don't think anyone was not crying. Many attendees confessing they aren't Republican, but admired the late senator's ability to work across the aisle and put politics aside to do what is best for America. You could always count on John to do the right thing. I didn't always agree with him, but the, my wife doesn't always agree with me. <laughs> I'm a Democrat and we're he proud of it. He had a lot of it. Democrats there today yep. and uh, because he was an American first. The younger generation honoring him today as well and looking to lead by McCain's example of serving the country. McCain is like a role model. He's someone I look up to him. 
and he's someone who just loved this country, you know, who always put people first. Others didn't even meet him, but McCain's impact was still felt. You're getting very emotional talking about him for someone you never met. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm also a Navy veteran, so I respect his service. And so people who didn't get a chance to go inside during the memorial service, a lot of people were out here holding up Senator John McCain's campaign signs, many people holding up American flags, saluting, and also had their hand over their heart. It was really touching to see so many people come out here. They never even met Senator John McCain, but they were so touched by him. Yeah, the man was definitely loved and respected by millions across the country. But the Maverick also ruffled a few feathers along the way. Two notable personalities missing from today's service. President Donald Trump and John McCain's running mate in the 2008 presidential election, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. Neither one was invited. Reporting live, John Overall, back to you. Thank you so much, John. Well